Hey, Chris with Queer Story here. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the Queer Story ATSS integration. So our goal with this integration was to eliminate the need of devil data entry for our users. Uh, I'm actually going to start off here in heavy job. And you can see I've created a pretty standard looking time card here. I've got some cost codes on it as well as some hours. Uh, but with the integration, what we're doing is we're pulling any item that's been flagged as TNM and heavy job. We're going to pull that into Clear Story. And from there, you can immediately convert that into a TNM tag. So what do we pull over? We're going to pull over the cost code and description. We're going to pull over today's quantity. Any public facing notes. On the hour side, we do pull standard hours. Uh, we also account for non-work hours if your team is using this functionality. We pull over cost adjustments. So with Phil, I've got per diem and a few others here. And we're going to pull over any material or equipment that's been flagged as TNM. So when you submit the daily time card, that's when the trigger occurs. That's when anything that's been flagged as TNM is going to move into Clear Story. So let's go ahead and jump back into Clear Story here. So what we're looking at now is our time card TNM log. So this log shows every cost code and every line item created in Heavy Job that's been flagged as TNM. So a user also sees in this log the status of each item and whether or not it's been created into a TNM tag. But from an office perspective, this is going to give you complete visibility. And note that the log is also available on mobile and it's really, really where it becomes extremely powerful. So your foreman can actually then open up their mobile app and they can create a TNM tag immediately from their heavy job data. So let's walk through the process of actually creating a TNM tag. So I'm going to click the wrench here at the top, and that's going to generate a TNM tag from the data that we pulled in from Heavy Job. So I've got my date of work performed at the top. I've got my tag title. I've got my form in. I've got my cost code and description. I've got today's quantity. Public facing notes would appear here. And uh, I have my material and equipment um, and labor effort below there. So what I want to do is actually generate a preview of what a TNM tag looks like before it's signed. And that's what we're going to go ahead and see here. Great. So I'm going to take a step now back now and talk about the next steps of this process. So once the TNM ticket has been created, it's going to live in our TNM log. And that's what we're looking at here. I've got this dialed into one specific or filtered into one specific project. But in the TNM log, it's a live log with all of your TNM tags. So we can see the status of each item, whether or not it's been signed or whether or not it's been submitted as a change order request. And from this log, if I want to submit a single TNM tag or if I want to um, add multiple uh, TNM tags to a COR, I can choose to so to do those here. So I'm going to select one tag and I can actually process a change order with a few simple clicks. Now, because we've uploaded your material and equipment rates, um, we know exactly how to price this. And we also provide a section for your uh, markup as well as any sort of additional files that you might uh, like to upload as well. And if we look at this just like this after I click preview and send. Perfect. When I click submit, I've actually now processed and priced a change order request. Now let's talk through the integration setup. So your team will need to have access to a partner account, and it's just simply a permission that can be granted through through Heavy Job. Um, on the uh, Queer Story side, we are going to need somebody with admin access. Uh, but it's really as easy as linking your account through the HCSS marketplace. And we'll finalize the integration setup here in Queer Story. Our team is more than happy to help and be part of that uh, throughout the process as well. Uh, but I do want to thank you for your time and interest. You know, this video is simply a high level overview. Uh, but if there is interest in learning more or connecting with our team, please visit us at queerstory.build. And we look forward to seeing you.